Blizzard today has announced another set of tuning passes for next week, so December the 21st, which will be the second week of the season. These changes are clearly focused at raiding. They have no intent on trying to balance Mythic Plus right now, as far as I can tell. There are some minor changes which do make sense, but there are other changes which absolutely don't make sense. So we'll get into those in a second. What I'm going to try and answer today is how is this going to affect the Mythic Plus meta? The first thing that I want to say is that there isn't actually a Mythic Plus meta yet. There are clearly some standout specs. So Outlaw Rogue particularly. There's also Havoc Demon Hunter to me is standing out. There are then some other specs underneath. We're talking Enhance, Fury Warrior, Windwalker as well. We've also got Demonology Warlock up there. There's a bunch of specs that are doing really, really well. Overall, though, I don't think there's a meta that's been defined, and we won't really know for a few weeks. I will do a take at the end of the first week, so in a couple of days' time, where we go and have a look at what's performing well and what you might want to bring into keys next week. But in general, I would say it's a moving set of goalposts right now, and we don't know. But we can still try and assess how this is going to affect the meta, and we can see exactly what's going to happen. First change then. Restoration Druid is getting a 5% aura buff to its healing. There are then some other small changes, but a 5% aura buff to the spec that does the most healing in the game in 5 main content is clearly not aimed at Mythic Plus. I would say Resto is just S tier right now because it does the most healing and there's so much damage that as a healer you need to do healing. Now them getting a 5% buff feels completely wrong. I don't think that this should be happening. I think they should have specifically tried to target more AoE healing, like mass AoE healing, rather than just giving them an aura buff, because this is going to massively affect Mythic Plus, and I think that Preservation of Ochre will just slide slightly further away from Resto when they're sort of equal right now. It's close-ish, but Resto is definitely doing better. Death Knight, so there are some huge changes here. Again, mostly focused at raid and single target, but that is the biggest weak spot for Unholy. So general changes for both Frost and Unholy. Soul Reaper is getting increased by 10%. Icy Talon's duration is going up from 6 to 10. Apox going to 20 seconds now. That's huge, really big. Um, we have Death Coil going to 10%. Scourge Strike slash Clawing Shadows is going up by 6. Play Bring It, duration increase to 10. Very nice again, very, very nice. And then there's also a 5% damage increase below 35% HP with Reaping. So overall, I think something like a 5% damage increase, ignoring the, the execute window, and that's on single target, absolutely needed. I think it probably needed a little bit more, maybe. It's still, if it was, okay, so say it was like um, Assassination Rogue right now, and it was doing some of the best single target in the game, you would see three Unholy DKs in every single Race to World first comp because it also does by far the most burst and having a very bursty profile is incredibly useful. I mean, that's not obviously not every single boss, so that was a bit hyperbolic. But in general, you understand what I'm saying. So they probably can't go too overboard, but a move in the right direction and Holy DK is uh, getting some nice, nice buffs there. Evoker. Now, this affects both preservation and devastation, but mostly going to be affecting devastation and it's a small increase to their single target, 15% damage on Disintegrate. It's, it's quite a lot of the damage profile, right? It's not a crazy change. I think for Mythic Plus, it'll be something like a 2% overall damage increase, something like that, right? That's not crazy, but it's decent. It's a decent change. I think that it might need a little bit more to become meta. It's not meta defining right now. It's okay. It can be absolutely brought. It's, you know, it's like middle of the pack sort of B tier, but to be meta defining and really see Evoker being brought to every single comp, you would need a lot more than that. Hunter. Marksman's getting a 3% damage reduction. Now, I'm not a big fan of this. Again, it's clearly very targeted at raid, I think. In Mythic Plus, Marksman is doing the work, like it is doing a lot of damage, but it's not particularly tanky, and I don't think it's meta-defining, therefore I don't think it should have had a nerf. Again, it feels very much that Mythic Plus is just getting tagged along behind Rage Tuning here. I appreciate the urgency, you know, they want to get this right so that the Race to World first isn't just a stack of certain classes on certain bosses. But they've got a decent spread at the minute. I mean, other than Mages, which somehow have managed to escape this, so you'll see in a second, Arcane doesn't appear with any nerfs, and Rogues, which have caught some nerfs, there's not many classes that are getting three stacked at the minute, so... 
I don't really see the reason why Marksman's getting a 3% nerf, to be honest. I mean, it, it, like I said, it's doing good damage, but I just don't think it really deserved this, like some other specs. Mage, both Fire and Frost are getting some significant changes. The biggest changes, so Fire is getting pretty much all of its single target buffed by 12%. Ignite's going up 5. Frost is getting 15% on most of its single target. Ice Lance is getting 12. And then Splitting Ice is going from 65 to 80. This is really going to help, and I actually think on two target cleave specifically frost might actually be better than arcade now but in general this is just closing the gap it's not like these are going to overtake arcane there's no like super changes here that mean that all of a sudden the meta is going to shift from arcane to fire right arcane still looks like the best spec it's just closing the gap so if you're a dedicated frost player right it could be because you just love frost mage well you're not going to feel as bad for playing it so these are more of the changes that i'd like to see more frequently and I'd like to see some of these tailored towards Mythic Plus as well, because there are clearly some specs that are doing much worse. And if everything is within sort of 10% of everything else in Mythic Plus, that's going to feel a lot better and you're not going to feel like you're holding a group down. So I hope to see more of these styles of changes, but specifically aimed at Mythic Plus in the near future. Windwalker is getting a 3% damage slap now. Again, this isn't the sky's not falling, right? It's the same with Hunter. It's not a huge change but clearly they're trying to target the highest performing specs and just give them minor reductions. Windwalker in Mythic Plus is doing very well at the minute. I think that this is more credible than the change to Marksman because Marksman and Windwalker might have been doing similar risk damage in sort of Mythic Plus settings, right? But Windwalker feels tankier, maybe even might have better utility, right? So that's arguable. But in general, I, I would see... Windwalker getting a 3% nerf is um, more more credible. Like I said, I think that's more reasonable. Priest, these are some massive changes. Shadow Priests rejoice. They've been left in the dust in terms of the race to world first race. Um, there are priests getting brought because of PI, but those are holy slash disc. We don't have any Shadow Priests as far as I'm aware, unless someone let me know in the comments if there are, but I don't think we've seen Shadow so far. Shadow has the chance to be brought in multiple spots because it brings PI. I don't know if it was over nerfed because of that. I feel like they should just remove it from the tree, to be honest, so they don't have to worry about it. But it could have been a possibility where you just bring three Shadow Priests to every single boss, right? Because it gives a PI to someone else. That means someone else is doing 5k more damage, and you add that onto your Shadow Priest damage while out they're doing the most single target damage in the game. So they had to nerf them, I feel like. Now, with these buffs... I think they might actually be okay in terms of single target damage. At the moment, they're obviously not, not competitive, but these are some big changes. So what are we getting? VT is getting 10%, Pain's getting 10%, Apparition damage is getting 10%. This is excellent even for AoE. So great changes. DP is getting 10%, huge. Void Bolt 20%, Mind Blast 20%, Spike 20 Flay 20 Those are all very, very strong changes. And honestly, I actually think that Shadow Priest is already okay in AoE. I wish it wasn't reduced beyond five targets with its mind flay, but they've done that now. They're not going to revert it, right? The gaps in the spec, so single target, are getting covered up. We aren't getting any more utility out of the spec anytime soon, but in general, it's probably getting close to being like good, solid, middle of the pack, maybe even like bottom A tier. If, uh, if it can do good single target, maintains its very strong AoE, and it's so tanky, which is very, very tanky now, right now, and it brings a PI that's useful. If that PI, again, is just doing like 10k more damage to giving 10k more damage to someone else in the group, that gets added onto yours and all of a sudden Shadow Priest looks pretty good, right? So I think um, Shadow could absolutely be in a good spot after this. And I, I actually think that you, I would be happy to bring a Shadow Priest to any of my groups, to be honest now, in, uh, in Mythic Plus. Rogue, every single spec, is seeing a 3% reduction in damage. Who would have thought it might main? The one that I chose because it had a great choice. All of the specs seemed like they could have been meta. All specs actually were meta. <laughs> no one could have guessed that. So assassination getting a 3% reduction, definitely valid. I think there's been triple stacks of assassination in some uh, boss kills so far. Outlaw is getting triple stacked. Um, so Brogue, I don't think we've seen get triple stacked in the race to world first yet, but it's still doing very, very good in Mythic Plus. So I feel like that's fine. Um, that's very much okay and, and, and expected. 
Resounding Clarity has been reduced to only two additional charged combo points. Specifically for Outlaw, I think this will knock Echoing Reprimand and the Keep It Rolling build slightly below the other competitive builds. So the two main competitive builds which will be left will be Keep It Rolling plus Shadow Dance and Dreadblades. And then you will have the Hidden Opportunity Shadow Dance AoE build, which is just there all the time. It's doing very, very consistent damage. So... I think it'll be a choice between those two now rather than the ER um keep it rolling build. Enhancement. This one snuck under the radar for me. Enhance is actually doing work. I think I had it at A tier, pretty sure. Um, but it, it absolutely is. And it's A tier because it's doing incredible damage. I've seen some clips on Twitch where Enhance is just destroying the damage meters. Overall in dungeons, it's, you know, leveling out to be roughly equal with the likes of Havoc, Windwalker, Outlaw. These sort of specs are all very similar. Fury, right? All these specs are doing great damage. Shaman, again, particularly getting a 3% feels a bit more okay to me than, say, Marksman. I think that this is fine. Again, Sky isn't falling. Enhance is still excellent. More than happy to bring every single one that comes through my invite list on uh, Mythic Plus. Um, group that I've got going, I will be inviting them for sure. Very, very nice uh, to have in the group. Warlock, Affliction, 15% Rapture, 20% Soul, and 20% Shadow Bolt damage. Perfect for the gap in Affliction's toolkit currently, which is single target. So it's nice to see that this is getting buffed. They could have gone further. Again, similar to Mage. Demonology is just the premium spec for Warlock in Mythic Plus right now. Destruction's actually doing okay in some instances, right? Like Destruction's doing fine. And it's getting a small buff, 5% damage to Chaos Bolt. Now, again, I don't think it's going to make Destruction overtake Demonology. But I do think that Destruction is actually slightly better than Affliction now. Warrior. Arms is definitely the worst spec. And again, I don't think this is going to overtake Fury. In fact, there's no chance of that. Fury is doing very well at the minute. It's even seeing play in the Race to World first, right? But it's a nice change because if you're a dedicated arms player, then you're going to feel better because it's not like you're just doing 15% less damage than you could be if you're playing Fury. Fury somehow, again, I don't know why, but Fury is right up there with Enhanced Shaman for me. It's right up there with Outlaw Havoc, like I mentioned. It's not getting a 3% damage nerf. It is instead getting a buff. Again, just makes no sense. The first and last changes in here, the fact that Resto is getting a buff and Fury is getting a buff, doesn't make too much sense to me. When others are getting nerfs around them, it's just strange. Um, it's a small buff, it's nothing huge, but, you know, execute crit chances going up to 25% was 10% from your set bonus. So if you're a two-set Fury warrior, be very happy. This is a, a very nice change. A general quick summary, right? Shadow Priest getting by far the biggest buffs in my mind. Mage, Frost and Fire are decent, but it's not quite as good as uh, Shadow Priest buffs. And actually, Unholy DK is getting some okay buffs as well. The biggest defenders for Mythic Plus Balance, I think Resto Druid will be firmly cemented as S tier now, as the best healing spec in the game, right? With this 5% aura buff, no idea why they've done that. And then I think because everything is getting nerfed around them, but then Havoc and Fury aren't really getting nerfed, I actually think for Melee, we might see Havoc being the only STS spec. I still think Rogue might sit there because of its tankiness and utility, but it's not going to be doing as much damage as uh, Havoc Demon Hunters and Fury Warriors now. Um, I mean, I, I say that. It's pretty anecdotal now. As you get into higher keys, maybe the consistent damage of Rogue just starts to outweigh some others um, who have very bursty profiles, right? But in general, there's a few specs that, again, brought down a peg when the rest are remaining. So I um, I, I think that there's be some that will come closer to the top now because of that. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think about your spec, whether you want to see any buffs or nerfs to some specific classes or specs now, whether it feels like there are going to be any outliers left. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that matter. I'm also going to be doing a... Huge amount of guide work over the next sort of month, and I'm going to be trying to get new players into Mythic Plus. So I'm going to be going through my UI. That should come up in the next 
few days, hopefully. I'll be going through keybinds. I'll be going through how to use your defensives, how to use your offensives, how to use your CC. We're going to be doing all of these videos as a suite to try and get new players into Mythic Plus. I really feel like there's a lack of that sort of content and there's not enough people trying to explain how to do well in Mythic Plus and what you need to watch out for and how you need to perform well at different sort of key levels. So that's going to be my focus from now on. I will be doing some VODs, so just releasing random VODs of, uh, of keys that I've done with some commentary over them in between. But in general, that's going to be my next focus. Maybe not the best for veteran players, but I'm trying to give back to the to the new players and keep players interested. And wow, I think that's a, a good thing that I can spend my time on. So anyway, if that sounds of interest, please feel free to drop me a subscribe. That would uh, then come through your inbox. Hopefully you, you will enjoy it. But otherwise, if you have enjoyed this video, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.